All right, Shalom. And first and foremost, want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhladash. Double honor to the elder apostle, the great millstone, who ruled well. In salutation to the most high man in the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. And shalom to the sisters out there that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and support the men who constantly strive and work in our labor of love. First scripture, first Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And I said, I brought that scripture out hey, because when the time of judgment, when the time of uh, 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 disparity, okay, because a lot of things are happening, transpiring here upon planet Earth. You got a lot of guys denouncing Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. You got a lot of guys changing the doctrine. You got a lot of guys adding unto it, taking away from it, different things of that nature. And it's a scary thing. And a majority of the individuals that are doing such acts were not so in the beginning. So the scripture stands firm when it says that, that, that they shall wax worst and worst. Because any brother out there that, that it has had a demon on him you don't know you had a demon on you until the demon has departed man. but while he's dwelling in your so called humble abode which is your body okay, you two are one you're on the same accord the same agenda and you have those blinders those blind, blinders on just like those horses in the Kentucky Derby man you only see what Satan allows you to see okay because he walketh about tempting individuals, you know, and whatever weaknesses that he finds, he takes advantages of it, man. And you got a lot of guys who coming out now talking about the chairs don't exist, calling this space junk, different things of that nature. But that's only because the Heavenly Father has not shown them anything, man. As far as their wisdom is concerned, as far as uh, characteristics of the chairs of Yahweh Hashem and Shai are lights in the skies, man. But you have brothers who have actually physically seen chariots, man, in and, and their actual physical form, you know? But that's another topic for another day. Hey, because most I will, I go into the, uh, the, the testimony of that on how I actually came into the truth, man, which was my my initial calling, okay? But through the spirit of power, Yahweh Hashem and Shai, I'll reserve that for that particular moment. Now, the point I was getting out of 1 Peter 5 and 8, it says, He walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So he's constantly on the prowl. That's his job. Okay? And some people are taken by it. Some people fall down and get back up. And some people are fully, are fully, fully overwhelmed by the demonic works of Satan, man. Because now their mentality is, oh no, I ain't never, it's never my intention to switch up the doctrine. I I'm never, I'm never changing. But all the while you're switching up the doctrine and all the while you're steady changing, man. Okay? Do you think it was Judah's intention to, to, to give up the Lord unto the Romans? To denounce Yahweh Shai and, and, base, and, and practically a, a kiss him with the kiss of deception and hand him over? Of course that wasn't his original intention, but the scripture tell you that Satan entered in upon him, man. And entered into him. And you have no control over that. And that's the whole, you know, so the whole point of the subject matter right now, because you gotta, you gotta constantly pray. You gotta constantly pray that the heavenly Father keep a righteous spirit upon you. And I'm gonna read the book of Psalm 50, 51st chapter, start the first verse. You know, not to be cliche, but this is still something that 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 should comfort brothers, man, comfort righteous men. All right, so I'm gonna start at verse one, Psalm chapter 51. It says to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. When Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy upon me, O power, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Okay? So constantly pray for the Heavenly Father to wink at your ignorances, man. To wink at, to wink at those things that you have not done uprightly. You know? And to smile with a, a, a smirk of compassion towards you, man. Because we need it. You know, we can't have that Edomite my spirit of thinking just because we've gone unpunished for some for some time that the Mosai is with it. 
or that you can continue in it, man. Verse two, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. So the heavenly father is very clear, okay? When he speaketh that judgment unto people, man. Whether it's death, whether it's a, a, a drastic change in your circumstances, whether it's loved ones being overwhelmed with, with, with diseases or with death or with demons or coming against you. The Heavenly Father is, is, is very well justified in that and it's very clear, all right? Because if you didn't do anything in that particular moment in time, what did you do the day before? What did you do the year before? What did you do in your past life? So we're worthy. Hey, the scriptures say that all of our righteousness are as filthy rags, man. So even the, 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 little, the little things that we do are still enough. As it is written, for, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Heavenly Father, right? But when you return, seek Him ten times more. So we, hey, hey, we're not worthy of anything, man. We're really worthy of, of, of all being put to death and the Lord raising up a righteous seed out of the rocks, man. Somebody that actually do His will. But the Lord is merciful and He preserved His elect, okay? Those men that are going to be purged purged with fire and tried as gold in the furnace, okay? He looks at and deems those individuals as pure, man. But you got to be of a contrite spirit, a contrite mind, and constantly meditating upon your how about me how shot. Meditate upon his precepts day and night, praying constantly in your head, praying constantly and, and, and honoring him with your lips, and of course doing so with your actions. As the saying in the world goes, actions speak louder than words, man. You can tell me you love me all the time, but you always robbing me. You always stealing from me. You always manipulating me. You always using me. You always got your hand swift to be open, but never, but never swift when it comes to, 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 to sending anything out, man. To hell with individuals like that. And that's the same, the, the, the same mind that the Heavenly Father has, man. Because you honor him with your lips, but your heart is far from him. Verse 5, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I sh shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Pray to Yahweh Hashem Shai to, to constantly be with you, man. All right, because we're going to slip up. We're going to go off. Things are just going to happen because we're in the flesh. We're trying to walk a perfect path and live a perfect life in an imperfect world, man. This world, world is full of imperfections. Your children are full of imperfections. Your wives and your husbands are full of imperfections. Okay. Verse 10. Create in me a clean heart, O power, and re renew a right spirit within me. So get rid of the filth, you know. Heavenly Father, purge me. Yahweh Bashem Shah, purge me that I may serve thee properly. Blot out my sins, blot out my iniquities. Wink, O Heavenly Father, and when I slippeth, for thou understandest my heart. And thou knowest that 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 I truly desire and love thee and honor thee and serve thee and thee only. You know, praying to you how about Shimmy How Shy. You know what I'm saying? With strong terminology, man. Make your request plain, plain and known unto him. You know? Be direct with the heavenly father. Ask him precisely for these things that you desire, man. Verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. To denounce you, how about Shim Shah is his spirit departing from you. To no longer be prophesied on the highways and byways, his, his spirit has departed from you. To no longer look at the men of the Lord that were out on the battlefield with you, out on the line, out on the highways and byways with you, as no longer your friends, no longer your brothers. The Heavenly Father has taken his spirit away from you. As the scriptures uh, 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 quote, it says that, that this is how they, sh 
shall know my disciples for the love that they have one toward another. And you got individuals that, that flat out hate each other, man. And it's brotherhood. All right? The Heavenly Father Spirit, hey, it's, it's dwindling, dwindling away. So before it completely goes out, pray to the Heavenly Father to give you fire, to give you wood, so, so that you may rekindle that spiritual flame, man. I'll read this, um, this last verse, verse 12. It says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with, with thy free spirit. Okay? So keep me complete, keep me whole in thy spirit, in thy works, in thy way. Okay? Now let me uh let me jump. Let me jump to the book of James in the uh, first chapter. <clears throat> James chapter 1 uh, verse 1. James a servant of the most high and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Now here's the point. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. So whatever you're lacking, be direct with the Heavenly Father and ask for those things, man. Okay? Hey, because and we're in a time of judgment. And we've sacrificed so, so much that we have to continue to have the same questions that the original, the original disciples, the original apostles had, man. Okay? Back in their first uh, 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 time upon earth. Asking the Lord himself, we have forsaken all. What shall we receive thereof? Because they did it without fully understanding. Okay, you know, I've given up the cares of this world. I've given up my life here. Okay, so what shall I ultimately receive? Because I know that thou art whom thou sayest thou art. Thou art the son of Yahweh, man. And we have that same mentality to this very day. Because it's still going to happen. We will promise the kingdom. We will promise thrones. And we will promise judgment and rulership upon planet earth, man. All right? But guys are denouncing that and coming in with the new song. They're coming in, singing to a different tune and a different beat. They got their own instruments that were handcrafted. And they're telling you, telling you that they're original. So you don't want that spirit to come upon you. That spirit of emotion, that spirit of, of, of not having uh, a proper judgment, or that spirit of having respect of persons. The heavenly, hey, that spirit right there will get you killed, man. That spirit right there will have you on the other side of the same people that you've been condemning all the all, all this time, man. All right. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, the edification was there through the spirit and power of the heavenly Father Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the true Holy Spirit of the heavenly Father and His Son, man. Hey, so with that, I say until next time, Shalom.